Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. So in the previous video tutorial, as you guys remembered that we have successfully, let me show it to you first. In the previous video tutorial, we have successfully worked on the comments. That is when a user write a comment and then he click on this button, then we successfully add the comment information inside the Firebase database. Now in this video tutorial, we are going to retrieve all the comments. So for that, first of all, in this video tutorial, we are going to create a layout, uh, basically a XML layout for our comments. So let's do that. So click here on this layout, new layout resource file. So we can call this as all underscore comments underscore layout. Click OK. And you can see that our all comments layout XML file is created successfully. Click text and let's design this for our comments. So we can change this first to relative layout. And we have this layout width which is match parent. And make sure, let me tell you again, make sure to change the layout height to wrap content for our this relative layout so make sure to change this to wrap content now the next thing which we will be needing is a linear layout so first we here write the linear layout and it should be match parent wrap content and let's give it the orientation so the orientation for it will be not horizontal vertical it will be vertical okay so vertical and let's give it some layout margin from all the sides so we can say layout margin from all the sides it should be 7 dp and let's give it some background so android background and it should be drawable inside the drawable folder we have a post border which we created earlier in the previous tutorial if you remember so yeah that's it so now inside this linear layout first of all uh, let me tell you we need another linear layout and you will understand that why we need it when i complete this video i mean at the end of this video or uh, after some few minutes so it should be match parent wrap content and the orientation for this linear layout uh, will be horizontal yeah that's it and layout margin from all the site will be 10 dp 10 dp and yeah that's it and now inside this linear layout we will add a uh, text fields so the first text view text view will be it should be the width will be wrap content and the height will also be wrap content yeah let's give it some id so the id for this text view will be it is for the comment username so we can give it as comment underscore user name comment user name and after that let's give it some text so android text and it should be user name and after that let's give it some color text color and the text color will be black so we can say at the right android color black text size should be 16 sp and the text style should be bold so text style it should be bold so yeah that's it and now we need uh, another text view so let's copy this and we will paste it down here below and we will change it so the id for this one will be simple text so wrap content wrap content and then we are going to write here as 
C O W M E N T D commented on and the color will be gray darker gray and the text size should be 14 SP and textile should be bold yeah that's it now let's copy this control C and let's paste it down here and we will change it for the dead so the ID for this one will be dead or instead of calling it dead because we already use this so we can call it as comment underscore dead okay comment dead the ID for this rep content rep content and the, the text for it will be dead text size will be 14 SP and we don't need any color here we need the default color which is provided by the Android Studio so it will be like that you can see that if I uh, zoom it then you can see that okay it will be visible like that and the next thing we need is for the time text view for the time so copy this okay so first of all let me check this we have a linear layout and then inside there is another linear layout which is horizontal so our horizontal layout finish here okay this is our text view up to that then the linear layout and then we need another linear layout here basically so let's create a linear layout another one linear layout match parent wrap content and let's give it the orientation so the orientation will be uh, vertical and layout margin from all the sides will be 10 dp so now inside this vertical layout we are going to display the comment so for displaying the comment we will be needing this text view so control c and paste that here inside this vertical linear layout so change this id to uh, comment let's call it as comment text that is the comment text okay rep content height will be rep content width we should be rep content and the text for this will be as uh, comment text will display here you can see that okay so the text size should be 16 sp so this is our text view for displaying the text and now copy this text view from above and we will paste it inside this layout inside this text view and let's change the ID for this to comment underscore time and wrap content wrap content and it should be for the time and after that we should give it as text alignment and it should be view and and this is for the time but we need to move this time here at the end so for that let's go to the design first and we have our this is the time click here and here you can simply write text and click on this view fewer properties and click here and I don't know why it is not moving to this end it has to move here at the end if the text is I mean if the text alignment is view and oh okay with there we commit a mistake you can see that this is the layout width so make sure to change this layout width to match parent for this time okay you can see that so now it's moved to the end so make sure to change this layout width to match parents so now if I show to you guys the design then you can see that 
this will be the layout for our comments. We can also display a profile image of the user who will comment but we will do that in the upcoming video tutorials if any of you I mean if any of you guys is interested or like to add the profile picture then you can add that but uh, also if you want me to make a video tutorial on how to display a picture here on each comment along I mean uh, with on each comment uh, the, uh, the, view, the profile picture of that user if you want me to display that profile picture too then let me know in the comment section below and yes we will make a video tutorial on that and alongside with this information we will add a profile picture so for now uh, I am going to just display the username and the comment text the time and date that is on which time and date the user comment on someone post so yeah so this is all about our comment layout so make sure to change only for the time make sure to change the layout to a width to match parent so this is it for this video and in the next video tutorial what we will be doing that is we will uh, be using this all comments layout and we will display or you can say we will retrieve all user comments on our this comments activity so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel thumbs up for this video make sure to follow me on twitter and instagram and see you guys in the next video bye for now